Hello, my name is Ken Wong, and I'm a technical marketing engineer in the Cisco Collaboration Business Unit. As you are aware, Cisco provides a superior experience to customers when using the WebEx app with full feature meetings. In order to get this experience, existing meeting customers need to update their WebEx meetings app to the WebEx app. In this demo, I'm going to show you the app update experience and the meeting experience after updating to the WebEx app. Note that I'm using the Windows platform to show this demo. And in terms of the Control Hub, besides the WebEx site and users a link, the organization setting have the following configured. First of all, their domains are claimed. All their users are claimed as well. Both the SSO and the hybrid candidate service are enabled. In addition, the Control Hub admin has already scheduled the time when the WebEx Meetings app will be updated to the WebEx app for their users. When it's time for the update, users will see the big Update Now button appear on the top of their client and user can click on it to start the upgrade process. And once it is done, their personal room link information and all the meeting join preferences along with the scheduled meetings in the calendar will be moved over to the WebEx app. Since SSO is enabled in the organization, the WebEx user will be automatically logged into the WebEx app after the update. And as you can see here, the user are, are landed onto the meeting tab here after the update, and you can find the uh, the personal room meeting link here, which is carried over from the WebEx meeting app. In here, you will find a few button. The first one here is allow you to start a the personal room, and then the next one allow you to join someone's meeting, and this button allow you to schedule a meeting. And down here, you will find the WebEx app calendar. The calendar consists of uh, all the WebEx meetings that the user uh, organized or are uh, invited to. Like these two meetings, they are all carried over from the, uh, the WebEx meeting app that the user had before. With the hyper calendar service enabled, not just the WebEx meeting, but the appointment that was created in the calendar are also pulled over to the WebEx app calendar. Like here, it shows uh, the Allison's doctor appointment and it can help uh, better organize the user's daily schedule here. If you go to the uh, settings and the join option, you will find that these are the job options that will carry over from the WebEx meeting app. Same for the audio setting here that you found in here and also the uh, the video setting they are all carry over from the uh, webex meeting app during the update in terms of scheduling if productivity tool or webex scheduler was used before the update users can continue to use them to schedule meetings after updating to webex app however with the webex app and the hybrid calendar service Users can have additional options to schedule meetings. Let's look at the scheduling options after updating to WebEx app. So with the hybrid calendar service enabled, users can use the WebEx keyword to schedule a personal room meeting without installing any plugin or an admin. To schedule the meeting, you can go to your email client, you create a meeting, Specify a time and uh, you put in the add WebEx keyword. Input your title, video, project, project summary. You put in your attendee, Alex. And then, since I have the calendar service enabled, I can add a device or conference room so that it will get a one button to push so the, the user can join the meeting very easy. So I'm adding in the Copenhagen. 
So now I'm done setting up the meeting and then I can hit send. So once it is sent, then in the back end, the canvas service will try to retrieve the user's uh, personal room joint information and then try to populate those detailed information and put it onto the invite. Now, when you go back to the web app, you will find that the meeting has been created. And then when you look at it on the detail, you will find all the meeting information like the meeting link, the meeting number, and other uh, join method that you can use to join this meeting. Another location to schedule meeting is on the meeting tab inside the WebEx app. Clicking on this schedule button will bring up different scheduler depend on the scheduler setting. To set the scheduler, you go to settings and then meetings. In here, you will find there's two options. One is Microsoft Look, and then the other one is the WebEx app scheduler. The WebEx, when you start the WebEx app scheduler, it will use the in-app scheduler as it was shown in the previous video. Now, let me choose to use Outlook and then I click Save. So now go back to the meeting tab. When I click on the schedule button, it will bring up Outlook. And this allow me to schedule a personal room meeting. And also you will notice that here, the invite is be populated with the user's personal room join info. And then, then you can go back here to change the title if you want. Let's say uh, video demo project summary. As some attendee, Kobe, and then Alex. And then as I explained before, since I have help a character service enable, I can add a uh, conference room device so that it can get a one button to push. So here I add the device to it. And now when I'm done, I can just hit send. Now the meeting has been sent to the backend process and then when it is ready, you will see that the uh, the meeting has been created in the WebEx app here. Now that the meeting has been scheduled, and when it is about five minutes before the meeting start time, you will see a green join button appear next to the meeting inside the uh, WebEx app calendar. And then the user can click on it to join the meeting. Now I'm joining the meeting. So once you are in a meeting, you will see a very familiar interface as if you are joining with the WebEx meeting app. You will also find the closed captioning. As I speak, the closed caption appear on the bottom. You can also doing a real-time translation and then translation, uh, translating from my English to Chinese, for example, in here, all right? And also you will find that um, I am able to push someone to the stage like you used to do in a meeting. So I can track more people here. And now I can sing the stage to other participants. Now I sing the stage to participant. And also uh, in here, you will find that the, uh, the breakout section. So if you want to break a larger group into a smaller group for a more focused uh, discussion, you can click on the breakout session and then select multiple group and then assign automatically and then you create. Then you can start the breakout section, okay? And as you see, these are all the familiar functions that you will find when you're doing with the WebEx meeting, the WebEx meetings app. So now I'm done with meeting, I can end the meeting from here.